The fourth inning program is finally here in MLB The Show 21. We have three 99 overall bosses, Christy Mathewson, Eddie Murray, and Wander Franco. Let me know in the comment section which of these three bosses you would choose right now. Drop one of those three down in the comments. Could do me a favor, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new on the road to 100,000, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all that good stuff down in the description now in my opinion i am really really happy with the fourth inning program you guys can see rewards through here 42 series pack which is sellable we have the fourth inning diamonds here john smoltz tony perez Raleigh fingers we got the fourth inning classics with tommy edmund home run derby jock peterson as well as trevor may right there and then we have obviously the bosses for the program we're going to show you the attributes for all these cards here in a sec and then to top it off okay in addition to the kitchen sink packs we also have at the end of the program a guaranteed 90 or higher live series diamond that is a huge w in my opinion so what we're going to be doing is showing you guys the attributes for all these cards here in this program and then i'm going to show you guys the new headliners attributes all that good stuff as well as i'm pretty sure a pack sale is currently going on and then if there's any other new content so for me raleigh fingers always been one of my favorite relievers and i'm gonna be the show this card is going to be insane he's gonna be amazing it's gonna be super good i can't wait to use him we got a tony perez right here and then we got 88 overall starting pitcher john smoltz so that is the fourth inning diamond first choice pack right there we got a 42 series pack here fourth inning classics tommy edmund from 2019 as well as trevor may and jock peterson from 2019 looks like a really good hitting card for the switch hitting event just in br maybe kind of a no money spent budget beast type of deal in general looks solid tommy edmund's got a good swing in the show jock peterson will be making my power team i'm working on a power team he will definitely be on <laughs> that team i love this card in 19 and 20 i can't wait to use him this year and then we got trevor may i'm interested to see how this card does i know a lot of people liked him back in 2019 i'm interested to see how he does here in mlb the show 21 and then obviously we have the fourth inning bosses Juan franco right here shortstop second base third base 117 and 105 for the contact 94 and 84 for the power 106 vision with some diamond fielding and some really good speed his swing feels really really good to me on that prospect card so i feel like this card should be hopefully even better i can't wait to use him he will definitely be joining my team at least for a little bit we got christy Matthewson. only thing that concerns me about this card is the length of the windup as well as the velocity but he has a screwball four seam 12 6 curve change up sinker to go with 96 control that you can easily max out once you get him into parallel three so i'm not scared about that uh using him but i'm scared about it facing him 96 hits per nine 99 break and if we take a look at the pitch attributes the control on each specific pitch 99 on the screwball the four seam 97 and 96 for the curve and the sinker 92 on the change up with pinpoint pitching this card is going to be insane like I said, his windup is slow. The velo's not great, but Fernando Valenzuela is one of the better pitchers in the game, and he doesn't have amazing velo, but he's got really good control. So I feel like this Christy Mathewson might seem like an L to some people, but when you look at his control and his hits per nine, I feel like he's really going to be a W of a card. Then we got Eddie Murray, consistently one of my favorite players in the game. Ever since the MVP series back in MLB 16, if anyone remembers that, Eddie Murray's been one of my favorite cards and it has continued every year. He is probably going to be my new first baseman. I hate to take David Ortiz off the team, but man, I just love me some Eddie Murray cards. Also has the diamond fielding with that gold glove awards card, but 125 for the contact, 101 and 104 for the power, 101 vision. This card's insane simple as that man this card just looks insane to me eddie murray's got a great swing being a switch hitter we got another switch hitter with wander i feel like this is a really good program looking at these cards i'm super happy with it man i feel like depending on how christy Matthewson actually does i might end up using all three of these dudes on my team for a while to me they all seem kind of nasty and then obviously at the end we got the kitchen sink and then the 90 overall or higher the guaranteed live series high diamond uh as well as today Okay, if we go to the pack store, packs are 50% off. Now, I know I don't normally buy packs, but I might have to, man. I might have to. I got some stubs to spend. We can see Dwight Evans right here. I feel like this is not a bad looking card either. For a headliner, diamond fielding in the outfield, speed scares me. 
little bit scared of that speed in the outfield, but diamond fielding, 92-114 for the contact, 89-87 for the power. I feel like this is not bad for a headliner. I probably won't use him, but I would say it's not that bad. Packs are 50% off. We got a pack sale going on right now, kind of crazy, so... I might have to buy some packs. Maybe not open them right away, but just hold on to them a little bit, you know? As McGunsky goes and pulls Jacob deGrom, maybe hold on to them for a little bit. Wait until the pack sale's done, and then open them. Try to get some good pulls. Uh, and then we can check out the Conquest map for the fourth inning program as well. So that's you guys real quick. We also got some new Tops Now moments we'll go over in just a second as well. Uh, so if we check out the fourth inning, we got the fourth inning of July program right here. You guys can see the goals show pack show pack show time we got the batting gloves and then we got the diamond bat as well and as always with conquest what was that as always with conquest there we go there's going to be hidden packs along the map so stay tuned for those i know there's a lot of people on twitter and youtube that go over those hidden packs and then now for the tops now moments the new cards julio urias miguel sano kurt casali and then we got a Tony, I do, is it Santillani, Santillani, I do, how do you pronounce names, I don't know, uh, but those are the new Tops Now cards, we'll show their attributes in a sec, right here, hit one homer with Miguel Sano, win one game with Craig Kimbrell, pitch six innings with Tony Santillani, is that how you pronounce it, it probably is, I suck at names, don't give up two runs, hit one homer is Vlad Jr., win one game, Kurt Casali, win the game for the Giants, walk it off, and then Julio Urias. I hate these. These are not moments, but strikeouts fall batters in one game. So I think that's all the new content today. Let's go ahead and show you guys their attributes on the market for those new Tops Now cards. And then we can go ahead and check the calendar. Monthly awards, by the way. Monthly awards are coming on July 7th. And that should be on the calendar. But just to let you guys know right now, those are coming on July 7th. We got Julio Urias right there. Miguel Sano right here. Kurt Casali, and then the final one, Tony Santillan. Probably pronouncing that wrong. I suck at names, but it is what it is. I feel like this was one of their better inning programs. Personally, I really like it. We got some good lower tier diamonds like Jock Peterson, like Bradley Fingers. I feel like all the bosses are really good to me. Just Christy Matthews and his long windup in the velo scares me a little bit. But still on paper, you know, look at Cliff Lee. Look at Fernando Valenzuela. Feel like they might just end up being really good. I love Eddie Murray. Wanda Franco's got a great swing. New headliner's not bad. Taking a look at the calendar. Moonshot event coming on July 9th. Monthly awards dropping on July 7th. I should have my predictions for those coming in the next few days. New headliner and uh, coming on the 6th as well. And then today we had that new headliner. Tops now. Monthly awards. All that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I talk kind of fast during these. I just don't want the videos to be way too long. I want to get through them get the video up so all you guys can see the new content i'm excited for the fourth inning program collections we got the bosses uh nelson cruz and then whitey ford once we get through those in the daily moments and everything like that i think they said a new player program is coming next friday as well so stay tuned for those i hope you guys like it i can't wait to see in the comment section what you think of the program in general which boss you plan on taking everything like that i will see you next time thank you so much for watching i hope you'll have a fantastic rest of your day Peace out.